the first question is, is that a real bike? Can you actually ride it? This is the Neutron bike. Everybody in the industry said it was unbuildable. We decided to take that challenge on and, uh, and we built it. All the ones that we've sold so far have been direct sale. We've sold these things all over the world. Once something hits the internet and kind of goes viral, it's amazing, you know, you pick up the phone and go, what kind of telephone number is that? The materials we use for this are, are a little bit diverse. We've got a, a fiberglass body. The frame is a, is a chromoly and aluminum frame. Uh, the wheels are, are steel and aluminum. I think it weighs somewhere in the 300 pound range, which is pretty light for a motorcycle. But they start around 55,000, go up to 65, 70,000, somewhere in that range. If we didn't have anything else going on, we can build one of these things in about a week. I would say the biggest challenge in making this vehicle would probably be either the body or the wheels. They're both pretty complicated. The wheels are hubless. They're 24 inch by 12 inch hubless wheels. Nobody makes a bearing that large. And then the body was a little bit tricky to get all the lines to work together and still turn, but make it look like it doesn't turn. This bike has got such a futuristic look to it. And then to have that, that gasoline engine sound, they just didn't match. So we decided to switch it over and we went electric, cut a lot of weight off of the bike, made it a lot more maneuverable, a lot easier to handle. And um, like I say, the bike's not really built for cross country riding. So if you can get 60, 80 miles out of a charge, that's all you're gonna wanna ride in a day anyway. If we were living 100 years from now, what would motorcycles look like? What would cars look like? What would boats look like? And that's how we kind of design things because we wanna take it to that next level.